Hey, welcome back to video 3 on JScripting. We're going to do something pretty cool that you'll use a lot. What we're going to do is create a simple button within M3, and then I'm going to explain how the grid works to position the button accurately. So open up CRS 610E, and then open up your JScript tool, mforms colon whack whack JScript. We're going to create a new script, and this script, we're going to add a button. So name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this one my button. Once again, see how the class is named my button? Very important when we deploy these to remember that. Let's add a var. Type your code exactly like I'm typing it there. Let's add a couple more lines of code to our button. Next, we're going to do some button.content and button.tooltip. This is where you're actually naming the button. And now we're going to program the tooltip. Great, we're doing good. Oops, look at that, another typo. That would have caused some problems. Okay, well check this out, because what we want to do next is to put our button somewhere on the screen. So if you press Control shift g the grid comes up. This is how you know where to place a button. First we're going to set the horizontal alignment, and then we're going to throw some numbers in there. Once you have a point of reference, it's pretty easy to add and subtract to these numbers to move the button around where you want it. Let's add a few more lines of code. Button dot horizontal alignment. Oop, look at that. Another typo. Equals horizontal alignment dot left. So we're going to now use the grid class. The standard content, it's put on the panel using some properties like column, column span, row, and row span. So let's do that next. Now let's set the vertical alignment. Now let's set the cell width. Now we need to add a controller. This controller is what actually adds the button to our screen. Let's check it so far and see what it looks like. Compile. Hmm, that looks okay. Run. Ooh, ouch. It didn't like something. Let's review my code carefully. Hmm. Ah, there's an error. Let's fix that. Ha! Ah, there we go. And look, there's my M3 button. Control Shift G gets rid of it. And there it is, a big fatty button right in the middle of my screen. Now we want my button to actually do something. So we're going to have to add an event handler. So right after we defined our button.width and button.height under the controller.renderengine.content children add button, we're going to have to add a couple of functions. To clean this up a little bit, I'm going to get rid of a couple spaces here. And we're actually going to add it right after this curly brace right here. This is our onClick function. Now we need to add onUnloaded function. If you don't do this, essentially every time you refresh or close the window, it's going to cause SmartOffice to crash. I learned that the hard way. When I compiled, it looks like I got an error. Let's find out. Oop, it should be routed. Compiling looks okay now. Couple more lines of code and we're gonna be ready to go. So my goal here today isn't to teach you how to JScript. It's to teach you how to use JScript within M3. So whenever I refresh my instance, it clears everything. So then again, I want to go back to my script tool, compile, run, and then it appears again. You can see my cool button tooltip. And if I click on it, clicky clicky, everything seems to be working pretty good. Now let's say we want to move around this button a little bit. Well, we're going to have to edit some of these properties. For instance, if my height is 4 right now. Let's now make it 2. Refresh. There. That was easy. Let's see what happens when I take my horizontal dot left and we change that to 26. Compile. Run. Whoop. 
Now you see they're overlapping because I actually still have the script loaded from the last instance. So I want to refresh all that again. So I, once more, if I do Control Shift G, it has a grid. And let's say I want to move over just a couple more. One, two more slots. Let's change this to eight. Refresh this and then it just moved over two more spots. Again, the vertical alignment works the same way. I'm going to move it two down. You can see it moved two grid spaces down. I left the other one on there just so you can see both buttons into relationship in relation to each other. Great. Well, as we continue, we're going to make these buttons do some really cool stuff. So make sure you check out some more videos and subscribe so you're first to know when I've added some more about scripting. Hey, thanks again for viewing. I appreciate it.